this show requires over 100 props. The props are all very different in nature. In one scene, one of the characters needs to bring out an etagere of little pedophores. And obviously, we aren't going to the finest shop to buy pedophores every night. And they're learning how to create beautiful pedophores that are not edible. Uh, I built it out of two uh, metal serving trays and then a candlestick holder. I made the uh, pedophores out of styrofoam. Then I just painted them white and decorated them. Uh, there's a part where a woman stuffs her face with what will be marshmallows and so we had to basically make them look somewhat like marshmallows so they're white and then have room on the back to where we can actually put the things she'll actually eat. They created telescopes for the characters to see swimming in the distance red sheep. Is that a sheep? <laughs> a sheep? But it appears red. We actually went to East Campus and, and measured sheep. We went and found uh, real sheep and we measured them and it was super fun. Um, kind of smelly. I got this sheep. A big part of the props pro uh, process is experimenting. Um, we don't have a lot of time to experiment, so hopefully you get it right on the first or second try. It looks kind of cool. I sometimes feel like a hoarder, like we have so many objects, but uh, once you start to bring the, you know, the, the stuff to rehearsals and, and then the actors start to actually hold them in their hands, and they're like, oh, this is what it's, this is what I'm going to do with this, and then they start to play with it, and then little by little you see it, the, the magic start to happen on stage. <laughs> One character is hung, and obviously we're not going to hang anybody, and so they created a beautiful red satin noose. It's not a noose, it's a loose. So, no one will actually, it's not, it's not very dangerous. We have a war scene, and so obviously we're not going to kill anybody on stage. The students created cannonballs that are operated on the ends of huge poles so that no one actually has to die on stage in our war. We are really, really uh, fortunate to have this space because so many theaters don't have a space like this. Like They have maybe a closet. And we have a whole room that's full of tools and full of table space, which is really, um, really, really awesome. So we're, we are very blessed at the uh, Johnny Carson School of Theater and Film.